Hey guys, Gameboy3800 once again, we're back in Beam, and today we have a lot of things to go over. Yep, it's update day. It actually was update day a couple days ago, but I was tired, so I didn't do a video on release day. But here's a quick preview of everything we're going to go over today. Got quite a few monster trucks and quite a few base mod vehicles to go over as well. And we're going to start things off with the Charger. Yep. Mike Bev helped get the body J-beam complete on this. And it's quite interesting if I do say so myself. As we are done with vehicles, we will despawn them to increase FPS because I am at a whopping 40 right now. But yep, generally the Charger body is in specialized add-ons. And it's out now on the website. Everything you see here today is out on the website already, just to clarify. But yeah. Oh boy, we dipped to 35 FPS when we look at all the things over there. So yeah. As we go through the video, the FPS should smooth out. We have the Charger Body. Uh, this model is actually from Forza. I gave it some super big wheel archers to fit on a monster truck. Looks like I bonked into that tire. But there are the standard fenders with no big mud cuts, if you'd prefer that. And, of course, in the Charger folder in Specialized Add-ons, you'll find the bake, the template, the UV, and a, like, base, uh, like, just gray painted Charger that you could use as a base to start your own paint with. Right now we've got the General Lee. This tune loves to do big jumps and super fast donuts. I go ahead and show here. We got ourselves a new engine option. The simulation engines, aka the league engines, are now available in a lot more chassis. This is on the equivalent of the race chassis, 33.0 race chassis. It's on the muscle chassis here. It's on CRC. CRC has some diesel engine options as well. And even things like Wilman, in-house chassis pack, CRC, will all have simulation league-ready engines that are limited in tuning and all balanced to each other so everybody can have a fair truck. If anybody says, ah, he was running too much power in like an MP event you were doing, well, as long as you're all running the League Engine series, sure, you, he may have like 5 or 10 more horsepower depending on what engine he's running, but it'll all be balanced. It won't be 2,000 horsepower versus your stock poor 1,400 horsepower Merlin engine that keeps getting nerfed with every update. <laughs> so the Charger Body, uh, you may have seen it before on the channel where it was quite sus with its breakage, or not even breaking at all, but now you can see uh, the body folds up. You can break the hood off nice and cleanly. The trunk opens up if you hit it hard enough. Overall, it's just a expertly breaking body thanks to Mike Bev. May still have some kinks to work out, but like it's way better than it was, trust me. Trust me, it was just a spiky Russian hack job mess before. And unfortunately, uh, while I do have a great Hemi engine model that sticks out the hood there, uh, I could not get its textures to work, so that is not currently out yet, but when it is, I'll post a hotfix for it. That's it for the general. Shut off everything I can show off here, except for one thing. Uh, yep, if we take a look at the CRC suspension on CRD and the similar, uh, the chrome effects have been fixed on uh, anything that would be chrome. Uh, it's probably not going to show very well here without dynamic reflections on. So we'll turn them on just for a second to show you. That's bloom, not dynamic reflection. I'm very good at the game. There we go. Chrome bits now down there. I'm probably killing my recording, so I'll zoom in quick just to show you. That's all fixed. Disable... 
dynamic reflections, and then uh, get rid of this vehicle. Now, I thought there was a way to uh, just get rid of this vehicle here, because I kind of don't want to show everything in my vehicle thing. There we go, we just do that. Do it fast enough. Can't accidentally leak everything I have in my mods menu. Let's go. Gonna cycle through everything here. I do apologize. There we go. Next up, we have the new paint for specialized add-ons, Twin Magic. And the next new chassis for specialized add-ons, take a look. This is the Twin Mull chassis. We have two engines right next to each other. We make over 3,000 horsepower. And of course, you're noticing the chassis, the windshield, the body, the tires. All that, one side is white, one side is uh, black. And at the hit of uh, the headlights button, you can swap sides. Take a look at that. So twin magic, you can choose sides or both sides. And this tune is a bit too powerful for this track, but uh, we'll see what we can do here. We have a lot more power than we have any idea or sense to do with. With this much power, there's not too much you can't do. Of course, we got custom sounds. And other than the engines, there and the rest of the visuals of this, it's a pretty fast standard monster truck. So uh, we'll give it one more quick look, but then we will go ahead and despawn it, improve our FPS situation. with the twin magic a truck that can give you seizures <laughs> if you hit the headlights fast enough and next up is the final variant of black magic today it is black magic on the chevy body and this uh, truck shows off some of the new features and some of the fixes as well. We have a very smoky turbo tune on the uh, Merlin customizable engine here. And the Gavril parts seem to be fixed, but I ha did try it on one map where they were still made of cheese. I don't know what's up with that. I thought I fixed that by just getting rid of anything or like try to overwrite their materials to keep them in the base file. We've got a ton of smoke, we're running right, way too rich. We make good enough torque with the turbo, but like no horsepower, so we're pretty slow. We have ourselves dual coilover suspension. That's new for this update as well. We have ourselves the remastered ZF axle, so you can finally run your accurate Bigfoot setups. And this was in a previous update, but also got the front-mounted uh, rear sway bar. Kind of like an old Gravedigger setup, I've been told. And yep, this Black Magic variant, done by Skinner, of course. The always talented, always willing to give his time uh, to help me out. So thank you very much, Skinner. And he's also currently doing the 12 Days of Giving Toys for Tots donation run. So, you can check out the Beam Monsters Discord server for more information about that. If you got some spare change and you want to donate to a good cause, he's got you covered. Otherwise, Black Magic on a Chevy body. All the other variants are on a Ford body, so this is their counter to that. Next up, we're going to start getting into some of the uh, base game vehicle mods I've done. 
to start off, off we have the extended frame V12 equipped T-Series. It won't make much sense here, but it is all custom here. The engine model is, of course, similar to the one in that last monster truck we got there. This has a stupid amount of torque and power. And it doesn't really fit here, so I'll just really to show that, look at this, I've done this. This is insane. Got so much power, so much torque. With the right tune, you can go 300 miles an hour. Or make it into a drift monster. You can make it into whatever you like. And this is out now. People were wondering, when is this coming out? It's out now. Everything's out on the Beam Monsters website. Now, I will preface this, that you do need to remove the 540 Garvelch pack, the 454 TBI pack, and the More Boost 6.0 pack. If you see those uh, zips in your mods folder, you got to delete them, because this one pack, the base game mods pack of mine, includes all those features from before, along with adding some insane new features like this. We'll give it a jump, why not? Not really meant for this, but it's still hella fun. Got the extended fuel tanks as well because this thing is just so fuel inefficient. The last monster truck we're gonna be taking a look at is Twin Magic once again with the flip-flopping sides. We got the one tire that's kind of out of sync. Uh, we hope it's okay. It's having an off day. <laughs> and this is an extended 6x6 frame, if you remember in the first release of Specialized Add-ons. Uh, we had the 6x6 frame, but now we have ourselves the extended 6x6 frame. So it's got the regular wheel base of CRD, on the front axle to the rear axle, or middle axle, I should say. But then the far axle, the rear rear axle, is now even farther away, so it's super long. Uh, those uh, have a special engine as well. It's similar to what I showed before on that T-Series, although instead of it being a V12 with one supercharger, this is, of course, a V16 with twin superchargers, so it's stupidly fast. Look at that. 4,500, 4,600 horsepower without even doing anything. And this map is pretty deadly with that there uh, concrete center barrier. So I'll try to keep going, but mostly this is just insane. Look at that. We have a huge radiator right behind uh, the driver as well with a whole cotton to Lexan for it. <laughs> I do notice we are improving our performance, like FPS performance, as we go along. So that's really good to see. Just <laughs> absolutely send it. Destroy the truck here. Oh yeah, you can also see we're running dual nitrous tanks because one clearly wasn't enough. And you can see how the chassis is also cut down the middle with the colors. <laughs> yeah. Next up, uh, all the rest of the things we're going to be taking a look at are base game vehicle mods. First of all, we have ourselves the Grand Marshal, but we have ourselves a new engine model under the hood. That all went according to plan. There we go. We have ourselves the base game 6.0 liter diesel engine inside the Grand Marshal. And I've gone ahead and customized it with uh, adding ourselves a centrifugal supercharger. And that supercharger option is available on uh, a lot of vehicles. On this tune, I have it labeled as the Bolt On Hero. Or it's got like uh, a racer wing, a junkyard turbo. 
and you know it's a rush bucket but people say it's fast it's faster than an enzo i swear they always say not really hooking up very well on this loose dirt but on a regular surface it may do a little bit better i don't know that's up for you to decide Again, this isn't really the kind of map for this vehicle. However, I oh, never mind. I was going to say that it is a good vehicle to just leave on the track as an obstacle, but we don't have any more monster trucks. Uh, I'll leave it on the track anyways, just to see what happens. We have maybe a very open diff, so I don't think I can actually get up that incline there. Um... We will make sure it does by using the note grabber. That's good enough. Next up is the hopper that we so rudely just kind of bonked into. We'll give you a reset and take a look at this. This is a hopper with a junkyard 400 cubic inch V8 with super tall zoomies in the back. What could this possibly be used for? Well, take a look at that weight reduction and that weight distribution. This is a wheelie tune, yep. Got the extra bars on the back as well. Keep it from rolling all the way over. And even with like this being more of a no normal engine, it's just wheelies everywhere. There is like an even heavier engine weighted so that you could do like five, 10 mile an hour wheelies. Not to say you can't do that with this engine anyways, but still. Oh my, look at that jump. We'll give it another go here. Yep. People are like, hmm. More funny engine options in vehicle mods, maybe? I'm like, yeah, sure. Here we go. This is not what they expected, I don't think. However, uh, it is quite interesting. This is rear wheel drive. So, you don't waste power just spinning the front tires. You can use all the power to do awesome stunts. Rip. And there's also a rear engine option, V8 option, in the Wydra as well. Why? I don't know. Next up is the Arata. The little side by side that was added to the game a couple updates ago. There's not much done to this, however, I have added a light bar. You can choose many different colors for it. And really, it's just a cool option. This was a commission by Redline, so if you have something cool you'd like to see in game, but don't know how to do it, hit me up. Maybe we can work out something cool. I actually like this map. The map or the jumps are not so huge that uh, regular off-roaders can't take them. Let's see here. Oh my. Maybe I spoke too soon? No, we survived. Oh, there goes the light bar. Rip. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, maybe I did speak too soon. A little bit too tough for regular off-roaders. But still, I like this track. So that's why we're here. I guess we can go with this one. And uh, people may remember my first base game vehicle mod, the 540 Garvelch Pack that adds the 540 cubic inch Merlin engine from the monster truck two things like the D-Series and I think the H-Series, like the van and the Roamer. Well, now, here it is in a T-Series. Why not, you know, this uh, preset I have, I have it labeled as same-day shipping. You'll get there guaranteed. We have a bit too much horsepower uh, for this kind of setup. We're just spinning all of the power away on the dirt. On the road, though, it is fairly uh, composed, if I do say so myself. 
Got ourselves a four speed gearbox to mess around with. Of course, this is a much more revy tune. So the stock differentials maybe don't know what to do with this much RPM. That's up for you to decide though. And monster truck course, monster truck engine, we can do this jump, right? Hmm, almost. We almost got away with that unscathed. Can we build up enough speed to clear this jump easy? Not even bad, only terrible. Bonk. Actually, that helped us out. Let's take a good look at that engine there. It is, of course, the standard 540 Merlin that we're all familiar with in the monster trucks. And last up for the T-Series is a new diesel engine option. We have ourselves the Detroit Diesel V12s. We got the 14 liter and the 18 liter. They're both super tough with custom twin turbos. And that there is a much heavier trailer. The stock heaviest trailer is like 34,000 liters. Well, this is 75,000 liters, more than double the weight. Let's see how this twin turbo Detroit diesel V12 does. Can't really turn because we have all the weight on the back, as you maybe could imagine. But with enough gears, I'm pretty sure even this heavy trailer stands no chance. You can use this trailer for like uh, tractor pulling events too. It's super heavy. It's as heavy as I can make it without it just collapsing under its own weight. So that's why it's so difficult to drive even with the engine this powerful. Like if I detach that trailer just for reference. Like we're doing burnouts in sixth gear. In 8th gear, 10th gear, we're doing drifts, 12th gear, go power sliding. So, yeah, this engine is stupidly powerful if it's not being hampered by, uh, like, 200,000 pounds of weight. Or however much that is, 150,000 pounds of weight. I think I weighed it once before. And it came up to 150,000 on the dot. So, it's a super heavy trailer. And this engine, uh, custom sounds just like the other big V12 that was in the back of this truck before. And normally it comes with like th four and five speed gearboxes, but for super heavy hauling, you need the 12 speed, and that is, of course, still an option. And that's it. All the base game vehicles have more than what I've shown. All the monster truck stuff has more than what I've shown. Uh, mostly to do with uh, like multiplayer league racing though. In the sense that a lot of the in-house chassis pack uh, chassis also have league engine equivalent so that they could be run uh, fairly and equivalently in a league. And I couldn't show them all off because it would one, kill the computer with too many things spawned and two, probably take too long to record so anyways that's gonna be it for now i hope you all enjoyed thanks game we out i'll see you all in the future of course don't forget to check out all the things on beam monsters and the beam monsters discord server the announcements page will have uh the uh, 12 days of giving event that skinner is running for his charity run that's it for now i'll see you all in the future Goodbye, everybody.